Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, yes, yes. We are flying first class. We're going on over there to Lagos, Nigeria. And we're going to get it straight into Messyville. And it's concerning you know who you should know by now. Portia Williams. But we're going to celebrate. We're going to celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Ah, celebrate, celebrate. Celebrate. Uh, who? This young man. I don't know who he is. But honey, thank the Lord for his mother and his daddy. Because he is one fine specimen of a Nigerian man. Okay. Woo. Baby got looks for days. All right. So we're going to say cheers, cheers, cheers for the Lord. For the mother and daddy of this young man. Because he is fine. Alright. And you would think it would be somebody that Portia would be hooked up with. Because it seems like he may be in her age group. He looks a little young. But black don't crack. So take that. Let it marinate a little bit. And we'll go with it. Because to tell you the truth. This boy looks like he could be a senior in high school. But I'm, I'm sure he's a man. Uh, he's getting a man type of activity. So, yeah. His name is Davido or David O. However you want to look at it. He is from Lagos, Nigeria. I'm guessing. And if you want to check him out, go to David O. And you could get a lot of nice looking whoo, pictures of him. Can I prove it? Yes, let's roll the footage. Okay, why don't we? Let's roll that footage on him. Now, just glancing over his uh, Instagram account. It seems like he may be married. I'm just assuming. It's my assumption. I see him with three kids. And he looks very happy with them. But I don't show any females. Or a one particular female that may constitute him being in a relationship so i don't know but i ain't really worried about that i just thought i'd put that background on him because brother is fine okay fine 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 oh he kind of remind me of tay diggs and uh omar epps i think his name is that brother's fine mm -mm -mm. and you wouldn't even think who he would be associated with but like i said Simon may or may not be a part of this uh, situation right here. But guess who follows David? Oh, Marlo Hampton. Yes, she do. So she must know something about the Nigerian men. So I don't know. Portia should have stayed in contact with her to get the 411. Because Mr. David O is giving me Cynthia Bailey fashion and face fashion and face on the male side Woo, that brother he could he don't look like he probably that tall but brother is fine irregardless brother fine but i believe he's some kind of rock star or rapper uh because on his instagram account he does show himself rapping and doing all the video stuff that jay-z or uh, Ludacris. Uh, somebody else I was thinking about when I saw him. But now we got to get into Messville. Okay, we got to get into Messville. We just wanted to highlight that young man because he is looking good. Now, no, he looked like he could go back to high school, y'all. He just got that young look. That young, vibrant, vivacious look. He just looked like he'd be happy all the time. <laughs> And he looked like he probably have a lot of women on deck as well. Okay. But maybe I guess when he gets to settle down. If he hadn't already been settled down. And he's known for you know being attached to one woman. Because like I said I couldn't see anybody uh, with him posing. To make me think he is taken. But somebody looking like that. He got to be taken right. He got to be taken. Woo. That burgundy. Looks good on him. And we definitely got him sporting a commercial jet. Or it could be his own private jet. I don't know. Hopefully he's not flossing 
like Simon Gabbardi over here and just sitting renting everything. But that seems to be his little entourage. I don't know if he's going on tour or that's just how he rides, period. Okay, but that's him. DeVito, Davido, yes, he's a rapper or a rock star or a mix of both together. But he is very well known in Lagos, Nigeria and probably across the country. If you pay attention to rap these days, I'm not a rap fan, so I really don't get into that type of music. Plus, my age is 54, and so I kind of mixed around with Frankie Beverly and Mays, the uh, Whispers, the OJs, old school cats. You see what I'm saying? That made music and is still relevant to this day. But that's Mr. David. David O, DeVito, however, okay, brother is good, and whoo, he does the body good, all that milk and everything, and you would think that would be one that Portia would kind of hit up, you know, like she had tried to put us or make us believe in her book when she was talking about R. Kelly, she's giving me this same tease all over again, but that's pretty much what she gets when going to look up her so-called fiance glorified boyfriend in my book he uh simon gabadi is in that car with that well-known rapper guy and you see simon's over there on the right side of the car and porsche is nowhere to be found because it seems like she is riding with the other women that's in this like suv <laughs> So, baby, you didn't do anything but show out on your own self and got very much so embarrassed. Because those men, they don't really play over there. You have a place. And when they tell you they going somewhere, they don't mean you follow them. Okay? And maybe Simon didn't make the things clear when he told you he was going home to see his mom and hang out. Maybe he didn't make that very clear to you. But that's David. Oh, he's getting on the driver's side. And that's Mr. Simon Gabadio. Okay, he must be something over there. Because he ain't really nothing over here in Atlanta. Okay. Portia's getting all the press and all the pictures and this, that, and the third. And he's just being her arm candy. Okay, over in Atlanta. But over there in Nigeria, it seems like he is flossing. And Portia is, that's Portia right there. If y'all can see to the right of that car's door up, that's Portia. And she looking like she kind of salty, but it just is what it is. And of course, they must have went out for some kind of night meal or whatever. But everything was being showcased on Mr. <laughs> Simon Gabadi. No accolades was given to Portia, and that's David O with his fine ass looking self. And he's pretty much repping Simon and his video and, you know, showing his um, Nigerian brother some love. And it ain't focused on Portia, which I'm sure Portia was mad as hell because she likes things on her to reflect on her. She needs to be seen. Okay, but you see that, uh, you can't really see it, but it's a Jeep over there in the corner. That's what Portia was getting into with the other ladies, okay? And Mr. Simon Gabadi was getting, in, getting into that Lamborghini and tracing off to, I guess, this eatery night spot they had went to. And as you can see in some of the pictures, you have people wearing masks, like the particular one in back of Portia's head. They ain't playing with the shits. They ain't for the shits. They ain't trying to pick up no type of virus or disease. All right. And of course, you got grandfather over there. He don't have the brown liquor, but he has something that looked like lemonade or the shade of yellow. And it may be something else. Some kind of spritz or it, but I'm sure it has to be of his taste and his caliber. But as we can see, he has that uh, cigar. All right, I don't know what's wrong with a man that's sitting, eating, drinking. Then you got to have a cigar. But that wing Lamborghini, uh, Mr. Gabbardi sat on the passenger side. And Mr. David O was driving. As you can see, it's a two-seater car. And Portia was nowhere to be found. And I know she was pissed as hell. I know she was. Okay, flew 12 hours. 
well, 10 to 12 hours over there to go surprise her man when he didn't really want her to come. Because, see, he's being flossy sitting there with that mask. Uh huh. He doing a darn thing. He don't want to catch nothing. All right. So I salute him for paying attention to the climate that we are in, the pandemic we are in. Okay. Cobra ain't went nowhere. Ain't went nowhere. But, of course, you got Simon. You see Simon? He's over there in the passenger side, two-seater. And you got David. Oh, you see Portia in the back with the lights with that, that Jeep or uh, band she was getting into. That was Portia. <laughs> you see, Portia is usually sliding into the most recognizable scene as she's getting all the hoopla. But as you can see, okay, Portia ain't shit over there. And she would not be shit over there. Because those type of men, from what I hear... They want a woman very submissive. They don't want nobody, no woman telling them where to go, how to get there, when to be back and all that kind of stuff. No ma'am, no sir, no lord, no God. That's not what they do over there in Lagos, Nigeria. If I am wrong, please tell me I'm wrong. Only the ones that can come for me is the uh, Nigerian people because I want to know, because I don't want to infringe on nobody's habits or uh, what do you call it, um... It's not rituals, but their culture. So are they, the men, like they women submissive over there, and they want them to be seen and not heard? Let a sister know, okay? Because that's the tease that it's giving me. Simon is the man over there, or in that little small group. But y'all see that black U, uh, SUV van over there in the corner? That was Porsche was uh, being in. She, she went around with the men. Because over there, men be with the men, and they got to be, they got to be talking about me and stuff. They don't want the ladies involved because they ain't got nothing to do with them. Because more than likely, they're talking about getting with some, you know, lady or trick or whatever. After they don't sit, uh, had their first females that they like, wives or whatever, gone home. Then they debrief with the other gentlemen and probably go to a gentleman's club or whatever. But Portia wasn't invited to that. She was like, no, 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 no. You may do that in the States, but that's not how I go over here in Nigeria, okay? You go home with the other girls, the other females, y'all talk shop. But the men, we're going to do our thing. And that's just how it rolls. And, of course, Portia had egg on her face because Simon just went on about his way in that little Lamborghini going down the street, Okay. And that's just how it was. Now, Portia ain't going to give you that kind of footage. Or she's not going to tell that story. Which is actually that story. It actually happened. Because I showed you the pictures. I've got you proof. That in Nigeria, it's the man's world. Okay? It's not the lady's world. And if you think he is going to uh, forget about his father and his grandfather having many wives. And you're trying to Americanize him, Portia. You got another thing coming, baby girl. Yes, you got another thing coming. You ain't going to change Simon. Simon ain't trying to be changed. All right. He may have let Fallon did all she had to do or just that in the third. Or maybe Fallon knew that when she went over there to his native country or whatnot, things were not going to be how things were in the States. Okay, he's the man. He wears the pants. He's going to be seen. So, that's what this whole video was giving me when I was over there minding my own business and uh, trying to see what I could see. And I saw enough to tell me, Portia, you dumb as rocks, girl. You are so dumb as rocks. I wouldn't have went over there trying to find out nothing. Simon said he was going uh, to be with his boys or he's going to see his mom and he's going to catch up with the other family members and, and enjoy himself. I was like, okay, babe, don't forget where you're home at. Okay, but go and have fun. Call me, you know, we got downtime or you lonely or whatever and I can talk to you on the phone, but you go over there and you have a good old time, okay? And if he really wanted her to go, I don't care what the haters say or the naysayers, he would have asked her to go. She would have been joining him at the hip, okay? So, no, he didn't want her to go. It wasn't one of those parties. It wasn't one of those trips. He was going out to hang with DeVito. And he know how DeVito get down. He have bad mama jammas all around him. Pick your color. Pick your weight, your size. You know, pick your hair choice. You know, he, he gave him a variety. Then Portia gonna come and just throw a big old monkey wrench in his plans. Because as you can see from my last video, he was shocked as hell. And like most people were saying, and it's just here, so it's just our minds telling us we're just playing devil advocate. He probably had women up there in his suite. 
Okay, you weren't expecting it. So, it just is what it is. And shout out to the ones that told me to go see Tisa Tales. Uh, Tisa, T-I-S-A, Tales, YouTube channel. Man, she was uh, giving receipts and everything of what was plausible. What could have happened when Miss Portia took her little bestie butt from Atlanta, Georgia and called herself Trax and over there with her sidekick, um, do girl. Lauren, I'm like, where was Lauren in this? Maybe Lauren had to set this one out too. Okay, or maybe they just thought she was a thirst bucket and didn't want to put her on by taking any pictures of her. Okay, because I don't know who were taking the pictures of uh, David O and, you know, Simon and stuff of that nature and the whole comments and goings. But they did a nice ass job. Okay, and they definitely 86 Portia Williams out the picture when it showed us. Two men riding together like G's. And they put the women in the escalated van. And say, okay, y'all meet us there. Or if y'all get there for us. Y'all just make the table look good when we show up. Because you all are our eye candy. But the, the, the spotlight got to be on the men. Okay, and that's just how they got down. Yes, Portia didn't like it not one bit. I know she didn't. She probably was grinding her teeth and everything. But that just is what it is. Okay. I just wanted to address something. You know, and if you made it to this video to the very end you're either still a hater or you're one of my family members now some people have been getting kind of rude trying to call themselves and tell me what to do on my channel and how i should conduct myself huh <sighs> i'm kind of fed up with it now so my block game is strong so if you're gonna be edgy enough to put some comments to come for me it ain't gonna see the light of day when i get around to blocking your behind okay so i'm just letting you know i ain't got time to fuss i did that for a while kind of exhausted me a little bit you know but you put some shade in the comments talking about me instead of subject topic we're talking about because it's one of the worst carnal sins you can make being over in the house okay you can speak your mind when it comes to subject at uh that we're talking about within the video but you don't come for other people uh, other family members in the uh, chat section. And your damn sure don't come and stay on my way. Okay. And the wrong way at that. So just remember when your fingers get to itching. And want to get to typing and twitching and all that kind of stuff. Make sure you're talking about subject matter. Not me. And not the other family members. Because you will get blocked. I'm just letting you know. Okay. Enough is enough is enough. We can't go on. We can't go on now more now. Okay. We can't go on no more. But anyway. Y'all like this video? Because there's plenty more. I'm telling you. They give me commentary. Every time they sit out on social media. And want to floss and shine. And you know it's fictitious. That gives me more commentary to talk about it. Okay. But anyway. That's all I got. Ain't got no more, so I'm gone, and I'll see y'all next video. Bye.